Good morning, guys. Alexis here. Thank you for joining me for our morning prayer and daily devotional. Today, our topic is God, make us in your image. We as children of God should mirror the image of God. Uh, my scripture for this is coming from Matthew 5 and 48. And it says, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. I know a lot of people say, you know, I can't be perfect. I can't be right. But of course you can't. But through the strength of Jesus, through his righteousness, we are to strive to be like the image of God. He made us in his image. So we should strive to be like him. We are. We should strive to walk like him, to talk like him. We should strive to live uprightly. The world will make it seem like it's okay to do what culture does. Okay to just, you know, dibble and dabble and come back because God's grace is sufficient. But we should consciously live a life that is surrendered and submitted to God so that when the time comes, when the temptation comes, when the pressure comes, that we will stand grounded in his truth. Let us not be wavered when different world views come around, different trends, different ideas that counteract the word of God. We operate from a different set of rules. Somebody offend you, you might want to tussle, but God saying turn the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we operate from a different set of rules because we're kingdom kids. So we cannot adopt the ways of the world. It, it's opposite of what the world says, but it's true to his word. Like we have to be surrendered and submitted to God. There is a way that seems right, but leads to destruction. So let our life, let our walk, let our talk, let our actions mirror God because the, our reward is in heaven. We're just passing through. This is not our home. Contrary to popular belief, don't get caught up in the daily life of life. This is not our home. And God wants us to be good stewards of our now, to be leaders of the future and be the called one. So therefore we cannot do what everybody else does. Now, you know, that's good for them, but we are the called ones, we are the sick ones. So let's be who God called us to be. So let's just go ahead and bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we just thank you for this word. We answer the call where you ask us, God, to be submitted to you, to be your light of the world, to be your image of the world, God. You are calling us to a higher standard. We are leaders. So therefore, we cannot behave as the world does. We cannot do what they do. We operate from a different set of rules. So God, mold us and shape us to be who you have called us to be, Lord. Although it may seem like Lord, this is not right. It might be a, a injustice that we're experiencing right now, but God, you are the victor of every battle. Anybody that rises against us, anybody that troubles us, when they come against they, your child, they come against the kingdom, they come against you, and you hit harder than we ever could, God. So let us be called to a higher standard. Let's not fight fire with fire, but fight fire with the, with the word. Let us not fight battles with our mouth, but fight battles in prayer. Let us not argue and complain and go back and forth with every person that has a different opinion than us let us be grounded in our word first let us be, let us be grounded in you first so when other things come to try to stray us away from you that we be grounded in your truth lord you are the powder god we are the clay mold us shape us form us into what you have called us to be god we won't be like the world we're going to be a contradiction to the world but you saw it so fit that we be the example and sooner or later, those around us will rise to where you have called us to be. But it might feel awkward right now because we got to do it alone. But it's okay, God. We accept the charge. We choose it. And we choose to walk uprightly. In your son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. We got a few more days before our fast start. Remember, the ebook will be available um, soon at www.theprayhandbook.com. So like this video, share with somebody, let's continue to grow in God. We fast in January 2nd through the 22nd, 21 days with God. And we just giving God the first fruit of our year so he can bless the rest. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.